Hi, uh, I bought a, a broken, uh, defective uh, Nikon SP800 of, of eBay and I will attempt to repair it and while doing so I would like to show you how do I approach the, the repair and first of all, before I putting any batteries inside I would like to check if there were any uh, short circuits and if when there are short circuits usually the plastics around the battery compart compartment uh, melts or something similar happens so i you can't see inside but uh, check the internals of the battery compart compartment also the battery contacts for any any uh, warping or any melting that sort of thing these flashes are used by professionals and what professionals do they they just abuse abuse the uh, abuse the uh, flash gun so as you can see the front lens is melted after repeatedly high high uh, bursts of flashing and if you also look carefully the flash tube is also shattered you can see that that's very common very common most of the flashes I, I repaired is with this problem the flash tube so yeah we figured it out uh, sort of so let's check let's check if it is that way okay there was a bit of weird sound with the, with the focusing that didn't happen before but now it made it felt like it is a bit stuck Maybe because of shattered glass, we will see. And then you have the red light and then the charging of the capacitor sounded okay. And one thing you can do if your flash doesn't fire, if electronically seems okay, the red light comes on. But when you press, if it doesn't fire, what do you do? You get your ear close to the flash tube as possible. I will, I will try to fire it up now with the, the test button and you will hear a clicking sound. I hope you can hear that. That means most of the time, 99% of the time, that means that it tries to fire up, but some so, some some problems happening, and usually it's the flash tube that is that's dead, that it doesn't fire up. So let's see if the diagnostics, my diagnostics, are right. To discharge the capacitor, I'm using a inca incandescent, decent, ah, incandescent, just normal light bulb. And you should be careful while doing so. You should not touch these, touch these bare ends. Okay, it's not so professional, but yeah, it's it works. I just needed to come up with a quick solution. So what you do, you tilt tilt it 90 degrees and you see there are two two holes here. Then you stick these spare ends inside these holes and you will see the flash uh, bulb light up. Then it means that you are discharging your capacitor. That metal frame which fall out made the focusing stuck. I forgot to include it in the video, but it's just holding a glass in front of the flash tube. You place the glass back in front of the flash tube and put the frame on top. And when you press it down, it clicks and everything is back together. I can uh, advise you to pinch the, the brake, the bulb to to t easily take it apart because while the bulb is in place you need to completely pull it out from one place but if you broke it from somewhere in between it's easier to pull easier to pull it off and the other thing while you try to take it off is the the triggering cables so if it can focus it is just behind here it's you need to desolder these first to take these cables from your uh, from your from uh, preventing it to come off and then you can just uh, pull it out 
from the from the sides. I couldn't show properly, but I uh, melted the solder. I desoldered uh, this this area to get this triggering cables off of of this place, and then now I can just pull the rest of the flash tube out. While I pull the flash tube, this silicon piece come off. And before you install the new one, uh, I advise you to put it back in place before. And another thing, you should be careful that this this piece that the flash tube goes through is very fragile. And you should be careful not to break it while replacing. I take the uh, old uh, tube out, there is uh, shrink tubing around it, Nikon Nikon put some shrink tubing for shorts and etc and it's a bit makes it a bit difficult to take it out and the, well, another thing is Nikon makes this the ends of the uh, cables as like hooks to make good contact with the with the flash tubes uh, contacts, and I advise you also to keep the same. Now we can replace the uh, new tube. Uh, I would not advise you to touch the tube with your bare hands, but at this moment I have to, because I need to show a couple of stuff. If your flash tube is dirty or you accidentally touch it, clean it with uh, alcohol. This is not desirable, it's 70 percent, some 19 percent or higher uh, is better, in my opinion. One thing I would like to show is this, um, uh, this triggering, uh, this cable belongs to the triggering circuit. And sometimes this, this part here is a bit of too bulky to, to fit in. So what I usually do, I try to flatten it as as much as possible. This is one thing I would like to like to tell. And of course, afterwards I will clean the clean the flash tube. Another thing is before you start anything, before you start putting the flash tube back in, I would recommend you to put this shrink tubing over the cables, these cables first because most of the time, 90% of the time, then you forgot to put and then you have to desolder and then put the uh, put the cables back in solder. It's a lot of pain. So I recommend you doing it that way. And the last thing is I would recommend you to insert the flash tube from left if we take the flash like this from left to right. Why? The main reason is this, this gets stuck in this if I try to, to push it through here this gets stuck
As you can see the diagnostics and the repair was successful and the, the sound with the focusing is gone so it was definitely caused by, caused by the, the frame and perhaps the flash has fallen down that also explains why the bulb is broken. So yeah, uh, if you have any recommendations, any questions, please leave it in the in the below section, in the, in the comments section. And if you subscribe to my channel, you will help me and I will be happy. And thanks for watching.